All right, let's look at some examples in section of first, just understanding how to find the test statistic. Whenever you find a test statistic, it's always found from the sample data. You always find it by taking the distance from the mean, or if it's a proportion, from the proportion, and divide by the formula for the standard deviation. Of course, this formula is dependent on if it's testing of a sample mean or so the claim is that the proportion, so right there tells you you're going to use your um, formula sheet and look for the proportion test statistic of peas with yellow pods is equal to 0.25 or 25%. The sample statistics from one experiment includes 460 peas with 135 of them having yellow pods. Statistic. This is the formula that you're looking for because it's a proportion. So what we need to do is plug in all these values where this p hat is the sample proportion that you have to compute from your actual data. The p is the population that they've given you. And then q is just simply 1 minus the population. And then, of course, I didn't mention n is your sample size. So let's first find p hat by 135 out of 460. I would try to keep as many decimal places as you can if you can hold them in the calculator and just reuse the answer so that way you won't get um, a mistake of rounding at the end. So I plug that in for p hat. The p is given as 0.25, so I plug that in. Q again is 1 minus 0.25 or 0.75. And finally, n is 460. Now, like this, you just have to be careful if you're if you understand how to put this in your calculator in one step, meaning you could put this in parentheses and the bottom in parentheses, but you have to be careful that you have a lot of parentheses if you're going to put it in one step. If not, if you do it in steps, what I did is I did the top and then I multiplied this. Then next, I divided this. Now, a lot of times students will email me and say, my calculator gave me this. Whenever you see the E, and you're either going to see a plus or minus after it, the minus tells you you're going to move the decimal that many places to the left. So in other words, I'm going to move this decimal one, two, three, four places to the left. If that was a plus four, then you would move it four places to the right. So this is just scientific notation if your calculator gives you this. But again, you could just keep this in your calculator and reuse it to take the square root. Still in steps, I take the square root of this, and then finally I do this division, which gives me my test stat. So what I would do, because a lot of times students just have trouble entering this in their calculator, is go through this exact example to see if you get all right, the claim is that with white blood cell counts of an adult females are normally distributed with a standard deviation equal to 3.04. A random sample of 40 adult females have white blood cell counts with a mean of 8.59 and a standard deviation of 3.89. Notice the population give you the standard deviation. Deviations, this is a chi-square. So you look on your formula sheet for the chi-square where n, again, is always your sample size, s is the sample standard deviation, and then sigma is the population. So I plug in all this information. I plug in my 40 for n. I plug in my 3.89, and then I plug this in. If you notice, we didn't even use the mean, and this gives me my test statistic for the chi-square.